Hi guys and welcome to Abhijin's SketchUp workshop. In today's episode we are not going to focus completely on SketchUp but we will focus on making a Age of Empires mod. Yeah, so as you can see here we have an SLP. Uh, this is the Frank Castle uh, which I've had time to create because of the great aid of my Patreon. So, uh, Patreons, uh, thank you guys for helping me out and well now we have to make this castle and a few other buildings into a mini work in progress mod but how do we do that so, so currently uh, this SLP this castle picture is just called castle okay nothing special there here it is castle SLP so in order for us to get it in the game we first need to name it. Now, if you're going to name it for the independent architecture mod, you will need this list. However, there's a little issue. Franks are not listed here, so they are using their original numbers and original values. So, what to do? Well, it's, uh, let's say, it's a bit of a long story but some great guys have made a fantastic SLP list of the original games SLPs which is right here so you can download uh, I will put the download link uh, in the description below and here you have all the numbers of all the SLPs remember you only need the numbers after the zero so 420 will be the graphic of the purge fish and if you want uh, fireballs, well, look no further than this one. <laughs> but uh, we need we need something particular. Uh, we need uh, the West European Castle and the West European Castle Shadow. Now, I already singled them out here. And we're just going to quickly uh, name this into Castle. And I'm going to reveal something to you in this video. So, uh, recently I've been fiddling around with shadows and I noticed that if you, uh, so I'll do a separate tutorial uh, on this, if you add this certain shade of grey, it will appear as a shadow in-game, which will help me have shadows for all the buildings in the future, so, so no more black shadows on buildings. Hippie yay! So, this castle already has a shadow incorporated into its core SLP so we're going to make the second SLP blank so it's going to be 297 and we're going to use this little tool SLP editor uh, to open that particular one sorry uh, I just got Windows 10 and I'm completely well uh, let's say I'm baffled by it still I need to get used to it. So we're going to shift, we're going to click on the SLP to the side, shift, delete, enter it, and we're going to save. Okay. Now we have prepared the castle and a couple of other SLPs. They're going to be somewhat of a surprise. And we have to get it in game. Well, the best way to get it in game is to find the path where it exactly lies. So let's see, 305. So we right click on Age of Empires here, open file location, and in the search box we type 305. So, oh, there we go. Now there's lots of 305s, but one of them has to be. So this one is in the mods library. Okay. So one of them will be the original one and once you find the location aha there we go so as you can see resources common DRS graphics so you copy this path remember this path and create a folder that looks like this so this is Abhijin's Frank, Frank architecture work in progress so just as I said resources common DRS graphics so let's give it a go so let's put the SLPs let's copy them let's put them in the graphics folder 
and let's copy them and let's put them here okay so I you I add these game data folders just to be sure right? never sure enough so uh, also it would be nice to have a queued preview image so I'm going to use uh, this render of my castle as the preview image so for right right now we're just going to be like this Doo -doo -doo. there we go so just for testing purposes it will be released uh, later on with a bit of more like uh, with a bit of better finish so again we copy this we go to the file location and we go to the mods folder and we just paste it there Ta da there you go so there's a lot of stuff here because these are all of my mods some of them personal some of them public as you probably know so now we have to make the mod work so we actually have to go in the game hooray well I hope the game is going to work sometimes it's a bit stubborn on my PC mm -hmm. So, also, uh, you will notice that my game menu looks a bit different and the music is a bit different. Uh, that's because it's all modded. Okay. Let's decrease the volume here. Okay. Now we're going to go to Steam Workshop. And here we go Abajin's Frank Architecture VIP, work in progress. We're just going to set this to private and here we're gonna write okay now publish now all right uh, the mod has been published now we go back to steam workshop and we put it to the top just for, to make sure it shows up we go to the map editor, create scenario, and now we're gonna test everything. Okay. So I really like fiddling in the scenario editor. So I'm just gonna go uh, put down a castle. This one, barracks, archery range, and a couple of houses. These are feudal age ones. So we go to players. Okay, this affects the Britons right now as well, but we're going to free, uh, switch to Franks. Oh, good lord. And Imperial Age. Ta-da! There you go. Wow. How can so many houses be the same? Come on, I have variation. So, select this guy. And there you go. So, these are the buildings that will be included in the first release. Uh, of the mod as you can see all the buildings have transparent shadows and I hope you like them they will be available on uh, Steam later this evening so you'll be getting them quite soon thank you very much for watching guys if you have any comments or questions please leave them below and subscribe for more content and please support me on patreon so that I can finish this set and many others. Cheers!